Hey guys, welcome back. Or if it's your first time watching one of my videos, my name's Chris, and I'm back here at the sawmill again today. And what I'm gonna be attempting to do today is somewhat of an interesting topic, in my opinion, for a couple of reasons. I'm gonna bring you over closer to the mill and show you what I'm up to. So I've got a few of these slabs of maple burl here that are just cut into firewood blocks and they are a lot heavier than they look so I'm going to drop that one and just keep this little guy on display for right now but I know if you've looked up maple burl online before there's a lot crazier variations of it out there than what I'm doing but I'm still interested to get into this and see what it looks like. Now if you're wondering why I'm dealing with just pieces of firewood like this, uh, the story goes that my uncle kind of approached me and he has a forge and he's got into knife making and he happened to have this laying around and he asked, you know, um, to, if I could cut it up into pieces and see what, see what it looked like, it might be re really nice stuff for making some knife handles out of. So I said, I've never cut something like this on the sawmill before, but I think where there's a will, there's a way. So uh, on the way back here, I was kind of coming up with a bit of an idea in my head how I'm going to do this. So I might have to lay some boards down in a certain manner but i'm going to kind of make it up as i go today so if you're interested in seeing what some of this maple burl looks like like i am i'm kind of excited to see what's inside here and also if you're interested in seeing how i make out trying to cut something this small on a sawmill that might uh, be something to stick around for too first thing i'm going to do is get this uh softwood blade out of here and get a new hardwood blade in because from what I hear, this stuff's about the hardest stuff going to cut, so I'm going to get a nice sharp blade in there and see how we make out. I got the new hardwood blade put on, and I have a bit of an idea of what I'm going to do here, and that involves just kind of laying some boards across from stop to stop, and I can probably move. I guess it doesn't matter because I have eight footers. I'm just thinking out loud here. Don't bother. Don't mind me. But um, I'll put some eight footers from stop to stop, and then I might stand one up on its edge, and that'll give me something that the block of wood can sit against, and then I can use my stop to to clamp it in there. So in theory, it sounds good in my head. I'm gonna try it out, and I also realize that there's a very high probability that there's probably a lot of videos on YouTube already that show you exactly how to do this, but sometimes I just like to think for myself and figure out a problem with going onto YouTube all the time for every single thing to see what other people have done. So I'm going to do it my way, the way that popped up in my head, and then I'll probably have some fun afterwards and look up to see what other people did, and then I can kind of knock myself on the head and say, why didn't you think of that? But anyways, I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> kind of like that. See if I can get the clamp to hold it steady or not. Well, it seems fairly steady and this is actually a pretty heavy piece of wood so 
I think I'm gonna give her a go. So that's not staying as sturdy as I would have liked, but on a lighter note, that's some pretty interesting stuff for sure. I see why it might make nice knife handles. Well, that feels a lot more solid now. I'll we'll see, see what happens this pass. Yeah, definitely looks like it's going to be some interesting stuff coming out of here. Well, this is actually the smallest piece that I have, but it also looks the gnarliest on the outside, so maybe that means it'll look really cool on the inside too. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna give her a go. Holy smokes guys, I think we got a winner with that one. Look at that, that's craziness. Well, I'm really glad that I took this task on now. I have to admit, I'm still learning at the whole sawmill thing and I wasn't really too aware. I, I'd heard of maple burl, cherry burl before, but I honestly haven't looked into it or paid that much attention to it yet. So when my uncle asked me to cut this up, I was, you know, yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. But now that I'm looking at it, that's really cool looking. <laughs> I think so anyways. For something like a knife handle or that, I imagine that would turn out looking really nice. Well, I've got a couple more blocks too. I wonder what else we can find in there. The last piece out of that little slab. There's the three pieces I got out of that other block that I was just cutting. Like I was saying before, I'm no expert on maple burl or I honestly don't even know too much about it, but this is my first experience cutting it and I gotta say it's pretty interesting looking stuff to me anyways. This one's, this block's got like a pretty good contrast in it with between the, the white and dark kind of thing which is kind of neat too so I don't know anything about it like I'm saying so hopefully this is what my uncle's after and hopefully he'll be happy with this I don't know <laughs>
well there's a here's the last block I have for this stuff so it doesn't look as gnarly as the other ones that I had but who knows I don't know anything about it so maybe it'll look the same on the inside maybe it won't I'll have to find out but once I'm done this I don't know anything about making knife handles either but common sense would tell me that you could make a lot of knife handles out of all those blocks so hopefully uh, it'll keep my uncle busy making knives for a while Well, yeah, looks like I was wrong. I uh, didn't think that one looked like anything much, but uh, that's the first pass I made, so that even confirmed my suspicions. I thought I went through and thought, oh, yeah, that's just, you know, a normal-looking piece of maple, but then, lo and behold, you flip it over, and it starts getting the character in it, and then the next two pieces have all that on it, so... I'm assuming that's what my uncle's going for. Hopefully he's happy with that. I think I got quite a few little slabs there that should make a decent amount of knives for him. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was my first experience with Maple Burl and I'm really happy I did this now. I think I learned a bit today and I'll be able to look out for this stuff in the future when I'm cutting down maple. It's definitely very interesting type of wood but anyways that's going to be everything for me today thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time